Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite with a new FinSuite Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to run a Webflow interaction after a successful form submission. When a user submits the form, not when they click the submit button, when it actually submits, we are going to run a Webflow interaction with a click trigger. Let's jump in and see how it works. As we submit this form, we're going to run a Webflow interaction. That Webflow interaction is going to make this line grow larger in width and then change colors a whole bunch of times. What we're doing is we have a click target that is being clicked with JavaScript when this form is submitted. So let's submit it and see how this is working. And when I submit, look at that line, expand out and change color a bunch of times. Let's go inside designer, see how this is set up. We're in designer and we have a couple of key elements that we have to set up on the page. We need to apply some classes. We need to apply our Webflow interaction. First, we need a class on our form element. Here we are at our form element. It has a class of hack 38 form. Please note that it is not on the form wrapper. This form block, that is not the class we're going for. We need it on the form element, hack 38 form. Next, we have a hack 38 form success trigger. This is super important here. This does not have any styles attached to it. We can select it here in designer. We can even set it to display none if we want, but it does not have any visible size, style, color, nothing. When we preview this site, we also can't click it. It's not here. This is what has our Webflow interaction attached to it. And we're going to click this element with JavaScript when we get into custom code. Next, we have our hack 38 animation. This is what's expanding in size, changing color, and it's happening after this is clicked. So those are the pieces of structure that we need to be mindful of here. Let's go inside of Webflow interactions and see how we have this set up. Of course, you can have any type of interaction, any movement, anything in here that you want. This is a super simple example. Let's go and see that we have our hack 38 form success trigger with a element trigger of mouse click tap. And when I jump into that, you'll see that this is a simple sequence of this div, this hack 38 animation class getting larger in size and changing background. And what we're going to do when we go right into JavaScript is click this so that this interaction runs. Let's jump into the code, see how it works. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. Look at this, just a few lines of code, super easy to understand and super easy to customize. On form submit, on the submit, of our hack 38 form, we are going to click the div trigger that runs our Webflow interaction. That's it. We are going to run a click with JavaScript on our hack 38 form success trigger. And that click is going to initiate our Webflow interaction. And that's happening after we submit that form. Notice how this is not happening after we click on the form submit button. We've seen some things out there that may initiate a on form submit when you just click the button. This is actually submitting the form and watch us test this. If I just go and click this button, nothing is going to happen. The form is not submitted. If we go and officially submit this form, we now have an official form submission and that Webflow interaction is going to run as expected. And that is really all we have to do here. Please have fun with this one, change this up. You can throw other things in here. You can do anything that you wanna do after that form is submitted. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire Hacks project available for clone. 
Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.